Welcome to the Fairy Wren Nest. I'm doing a little spring cleaning today and I thought I'd share with you some puzzles I've had hidden away. Now, I usually can't keep them all displayed or stored under the bed, so I'm, I pack most of them up, but they bring back memories of childhood, sharing time around the dining room table together, doing them. And of course, we continued the tradition with my beautiful son, who's grown now, and my hubby. So, yeah, this one, of course, if you know my channel, and my love of angels, so this one would have probably been done about 15 years ago. And I just didn't have the heart to pack it up. It's one of the cheaper puzzles, uh, just from a cheap shop. It was probably about $4 back then. And you can still buy cheap puzzles, but just be careful with the cheaper puzzles because sometimes the pieces are smaller and harder to put together because of the same shape. This one wasn't too bad from memory, but yes, yeah, sometimes you can get caught with them having the same shape and it's quite hard to put together. So yeah, I hope to frame this one one day. Another puzzle I just couldn't bear to un undo <laughs> uh, with my husband and son, of course. And we probably did this about the same time. It would be over 12 years ago anyway, or about 12 years, yeah. So the beautiful teddy bear fishing by the stream. And of course, if you know me at all, my love of birds. So of course there's going to be a bird jigsaw, beautiful macaws. This is another thousand piece jigsaw. Once again done by my husband, son and myself. Probably over 10 years ago now as well. Just don't have the heart to pack that one away either. And here's one I did probably 12 years ago, or we did together. And it's called Fly Me to the Moon by my favourite, or one of my favourite artists, Josephine Wall. She's been around for many years. And she has done the artwork for a lot of current oracle decks out there now as well. But yeah, the, these came out long before any artwork in her oracles. And her Puzzles can be quite expensive and collectible, the out-of-print ones. So again, I hope to frame this one day. And yeah, and okay, we don't all do fairies and angels. My boys love doing different ones, which we have done, but I've packed those up. But I yeah, kept the bird one and the teddy bear one. But we always share the subject matter. So yeah, we all get a choice of doing different puzzles together. And this is our most recent one. We did this during the pandemic last year. And on and off, it, it took us about two weeks on and off. And this one's called The Spirit of Flight, again by the beautiful Josephine Wall. And this one I will definitely be framing. It's one of her glitter edition puzzles and puzzles were quite hard to get during the pandemic but I had this one stored away you could hardly buy anything online because everyone was in lockdown and everyone was buying jigsaw puzzles and here's a very very treasured jigsaw puzzle that we did actually get framed and it was done by my dear father he loved puzzles so that's where I guess my son and I got our love of puzzles and I remember helping him with this one as well and it's probably about 18 years since yeah my dad's been gone many moons now so that's that's really really treasured I just I adore this jigsaw so this is our current jigsaw project it's called Wisdom Whale and it's 2,000 piece. 
Now this is our second attempt at a 2,000 piece jigsaw because they are huge and you need a lot of space. And look at, see the whales swimming in the city of Atlantis. So I've bought this for my hubby. So currently my husband and son, so we've got it on our dining room table. I've done most of this so far. And it's on our ta dining table with this huge board that we just painted white, an old board. And my son has gone away for work at the moment, so my husband is delving into it. And my job is to sort relevant pieces and colours, as you can see in the containers. <laughs> but yeah, we would definitely be getting this puzzle framed we have just the right spot for it in the house uh, it's absolutely beautiful Ravensburger such a beautiful quality uh, jigsaw uh, so yeah very yeah looking forward to finishing this project and also last year during the pandemic we bought this puzzle and we did do it I've got photographs of it it's very hard to store because 2,000 pieces are, are humongous and we had never done a 2,000 piece puzzle but we managed to do it and these puzzles were hard to get and to source during the pandemic because they were just sold out everywhere but we managed to pick this one up. So yeah, during lockdown we were busy and we did take photographs of that to prove that we did do it so yeah just the beautiful tigers so the next puzzle I will be doing is this beautiful Jody Bergsma puzzle and she's actually the author I mean the yeah, author and producer of this beautiful magical times Oracle now I bought this recently and it was really, really cheap, secondhand on eBay, but it was still in, it's brand new, it's still in the plastic, the puzzles are still in the plastic bag, sealed. And this one's called, yeah, Long Live Magic. So she'll be my next project and I'll share her with you because I have a really beautiful one of my spiritual ponderings and messages around this puzzle and how I found the figurine to match just recently only a couple of weeks ago so I will share that once I've finished it I'll do a little spiritual ponderings and I also got on eBay secondhand it's brand new in the box really cheap I've got both of these so cheap by Jody Bergsma as well and that's the Peacock Fairy so I look forward to sharing those with you and I got another Josephine wall puzzle I got this really cheap as well someone was selling it uh, just privately and I got it for about $20 delivered so I was really happy about that and then I've had this one for a while. These are quite collectible. This one's called Heart and Soul by Josephine Wall. Some of her puzzles can be quite expensive if they're out of print. But I've had this one a while, so I've got to get around to doing that one. And this one's Titania. So yeah, just a little bit of my jigsaw journey. So I'd really love to know if you love doing jigsaw puzzles and do you find it hard to pack them back up in the box and pass them along for someone else to use I certainly do but I, I've had to I just can't keep them all but these are the ones I kept and as again this is the recent one that I did just last year with my husband and son so blessings all and happy jigsawing and I'd love to know your jigsaw stories take care have a gorgeous gorgeous day